A few years ago when I was in college, I started taking a cold shower in the morning every day and I did it for up to like two years. Madness. I did it basically every day, besides maybe when I was traveling, but yeah, even when I was slightly sick or with a cold, I still did it. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how I took a cold shower every day for two years and what are the benefits. Make sure you click like and subscribe as well for future videos about health and performance. <laughs> Now, most people, they don't like the cold at all, like zero, completely hate it, and especially cold showers, they never do it. Uh, but me, I, you know, I actually kind of enjoy it, it feels good, and it also has some health benefits. During that time, I also did regular cold water immersion during the autumn and sometimes at winter. This kind of ice bathing is much more stronger than cold showers, and with a lot of different benefits. Sucks! But what are the benefits to cold exposure and uh, especially cold showers? It reduces inflammation and muscle soreness. The cold constricts blood vessels, which decreases swelling, trauma, and injuries. Cold may decrease inflammation of arthritis. Arthritic patients report significantly less pain after taking a two-minute cold shower every day for just a week. Cold showers are considered a potential treatment for depression. Three weeks of cryotherapy has been shown to improve mood and anxiety in people with mild depressive disorders. Shivering and lower temperatures also activate brown adipose tissue, which improves mitochondrial functioning, increases metabolic rate, and heat regulation. Exposure to cold stimulates lipid metabolism, burns white fat, and decreases triglycerides. The cold strengthens the immune system by increasing antioxidant defense systems such as glutathione, superoxide dismutase, and reduces uric acid, similar to exercise. A daily contrast shower for 30 days has led to a 29% lower self-reported work absenteeism due to sickness in healthy adults. Cold and shivering increase adiponectin, which is a protein that helps with blood sugar management. Diabetes. Now, besides the health benefits, there's also the psychological benefits that you get, you know, more discipline, more willpower, more mental toughness. And uh, I do think that those things, they ha help you to be more productive and more disciplined and more focused in your everyday life as well. Because, you know, once you get it over with, once you get the cold shower done, then like everything else you do for the rest of the day is also a lot more easier. It's neuroplasticity. Your brain is literally rewiring itself based upon your habits and you know the actions you take. So if you like chicken out, <laughs> you freak out in the shower, then you're gonna be, be more procrastinating and you know more scared uh, of the things that you do outside of the cold shower as well. The biggest thing that I noticed when I was taking the cold showers was that you know uh, I did have a lot more energy in the morning. I didn't need things like caffeine to wake up. I didn't need any stimulants to uh, be productive and be focused. And you know the best thing was also just this massive boost in uh, mood, uh, more confidence. You just feel awesome after taking a shower, even if you are, let's say, a bit hesitant before going to the shower. After you get it over with, you just feel like a million bucks. Even if you had a, like a bad night's sleep or something, you just you know reinvigorate yourself and uh, reset the system almost and you wake up awesome <laughs> of course there were some days that i you know didn't feel like doing it it was like hey i've already done this for so long and let's take a day off or whatever bullshit uh, but at th those times i still uh, did it because of the same concept of uh, neuroplasticity so it's like you know if you made a commitment or if you made a decision that you're going to do it and you break it then your brain is going to literally start to rewire itself uh, to start making those same excuses and to start procrastinating in the future again whereas if you do stick to it you stay to the routine you stay disciplined then the opposite happens you strengthen the uh, connections of uh, discipline and uh, being more productive uh, currently i'm uh, taking a cold shower or like a cold water immersion um, approximately like three times a week and uh, it's not because I don't like it, <laughs> I love it, it's awesome, it feels great. It's just that my focus has more shifted towards uh, trying to build more muscle mass and uh, strength. And there is a lot of research actually that shows that cold water exposure or a cold water immersion itself after a workout, after resistance training, uh, tends to shut down some of this uh, muscle building signal and this hypertrophy response that you get from the workout. And uh, you do actually need, at that time, you do need some of the inflammation to cre create these adaptations and uh, build new tissue. Whereas if you take the cold shower all the time, or let's say too frequently, then you may uh, negate those effects and you're not going to see any gains, or at least going to be much slower. Uh, so the, for the time being, yeah, like I'm not like really worried about it. I'm just going to take my cold showers on the rest days uh, where I'm not like working out and uh, that's kind of allows to still gain those uh, benefits from working out and also implement the benefits of the cold shower. Awesome. Another great alternative to cold showers is the contrast shower where you alternate between hot and cold temperature. You do 15 to 20 seconds of cold and 15 to 20 seconds of hot. Now I've taken the cold shower for two years straight and uh, and I do actually think that a contrast shower may be healthier and you get a bit more benefits 
uh, from the contract shower than you do from just a cold shower because you're uh, alternating between these uh, extremes of hot and cold and in so doing you're also promoting better blood circulation you're also going to stimulate the lymphatic system a lot more which is going to have uh, like a better uh, let's say cardiovascular benefit and uh, feels a bit more enjoyable and it also has like this let's say helps to flush out some of the toxins and things like that by stimulating the lymphatic system if you want to know how to take the sauna, the cold shower, and engage in other similar longevity boosting activities, then check out my new book, Stronger by Stress. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click like, subscribe, notification bell as all my enemies seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.